client's problem was basically that they were generating inspection limit violations for torque installations where no problem could be found. The tools that were installing the fasteners were right on exactly the money where they needed to be to provide the proper torque. But when they inspected them, they were found to be above the upper engine, uh, above the upper inspection limit. And that generated a problem because they needed, they were afraid of snapping fasteners off due to over torque. Uh, they were uh, getting some warranty claims uh, from their customers. Uh, so they were spending time and money on that. Um, they had uh, extra time on the line during, during assembly uh, with regards to uh, uh, chasing false positives uh, and, and missed uh, exceptions. Um, there, there was also some uh, infighting going on uh, between uh, production and quality and, and engineering and quality. There's a lot of finger pointing going on. Uh, as an example, when a fastener uh, was, was discovered uh, as out of tolerance or it didn't meet spe uh, engineering specifications, uh, instead of trying to chase that problem back to its source, uh, engineering or production was blaming quality for the problem and the quality equipment. Um, so there was a lot, of, a lot of wasted time and effort all around. Our customer was using a, a tried and true uh, torque audit methodology that, that we had developed uh, to act as a last line of defense uh, to catch torque problems uh, in assembly. Now, what we developed uh, specifically for them to help uh, address uh, the failed fasteners um, and, and the finger pointing going on between engineering and, and quality and production and quality uh, was a uh, new torque algorithm or new torque paradigm uh, specifically uh, to help them set residual, uh, residual torque limits uh, based on reality instead of an arbitrary uh, percentage rule. Um, in this case it was an arbitrary 20% The basic problem of generating out-of-spec uh, inspection limit violations was due to the fact that they operate on arbitrarily assigned inspection limits. For example, if the installation torque was supposed to be 100 pound-feet, then the inspection limits could be plus or minus 20 percent from that. So anything above 120 was deemed to be too tight and anything below 80 was seem to be too low. Now this rule of thumb is not really that bad. I mean, it's a good place to start. The problem is some fasteners uh, tighten after they're installed and some relax after they're installed. And that uh, broad range doesn't account for that. The one thing we discovered uh, by looking at some of the, one of the plants is that they're residual torque was all within their plus or minus 20 percent of target, but 100 percent of their installation values were above the upper spec for installation. So the installation specs had become essentially meaningless. The plant appears to have been con constantly increasing the applied torque to get the residual values within spec. Now the problem with this is that by over torquing the fastener to get the inspection values without generating alarms, they run the risk of fastener sta snapping in the field. And the fastener snapping in the field has been one of their problems. The impact of uh, having reality based residual limits instead of uh, the arbitrary 20% rule or rules based residual limits is uh, less warranty claims, um, less time spent finger pointing amongst each other, 
amongst the different departments. Uh, there would be less, um, less chasing of ghosts or, or false positives. Uh, missed exceptions uh, would be at a minimum uh, as well. And uh, ultimately, uh, the tendency for quality to over torque a fastener so that it'll fit within residual limits uh, is going to be minimized.